truly feels like a home. It's a great location, it's a great welcoming international community. St Cross is different, St Cross stands out amongst the Oxford Colleges. Social life is fantastic here. <laughs> St Cross is a graduate college, it draws people from all around the world. Our student body, as well as our research, is tied up not with looking at other parts of the world and bringing them back to Oxford, but being part of the wider world. This is a very high-powered academic community, but you've also got the possibility of talking to students who are your future colleagues. These are academics in the making. Going to a common room and meeting people who come from the US, from Germany, from China, definitely enriches the study experience here. We think we are genuinely part of that wider global conversation. My mind has grown, my learning has expanded since I've been here through the conversations that I've had with my fellow students and the fellows. I found it one of the liveliest, most exuberant, fun, and profoundly international of places. The 50th anniversary campaign is intended to ensure that St Cross can do its part in furthering something which is to the collective public good. It allows the college a chance to reflect but also look forward into the future. Supporting it now will help provide the foundation that the college needs to grow exponentially. It's starting to outgrow the space that it's got at present. A lot of uh, excellent students here that deserve more opportunities in terms of accommodation or funding or scholarship. We're a college which is firing on all cylinders intellectually, but we are not in a position to house and lecture to them and talk to them in a way that we could do if we had more on-site facilities. Completing the West Quad, I think, is vital to St Cross's future. What we need is to attract donors at every level. What this new building will do for us is to provide us with 53 more student rooms, a better library, a new cafe study space, a lecture theatre, and three seminar rooms. Neil McLaughlin's project designs very much captured the feeling of St Cross as a friendly, informal place. The building is primarily accommodation for our students and fellows, so we wanted to continue that tradition of a, se a sequence of rooms around a garden with masonry or concrete vaults. To see this as something that looks towards the future, but also has, uh, in some sense, a continuity with the Victorian tradition of building. The West Wing will provide the students of the college with precisely what they need to take their studies and their professional lives to the next level. It will strengthen what is an already strong sense of community. We are campaigning to build the endowment that will enable St Cross to become an independent college and a full contributor to the future of the university. Mm -hmm.